So this video is going to be about conditional densities. Specifically, it's going to walk us through an interactive notebook, which we can find on my website through the meta section and then clicking on interactive notebooks. That'll pull you up to this web page, which at the bottom of it has a interactive notebook on joint marginal and conditional densities. But we're going to highlight the conditional density part of it and just uh, use the definitions of joint and marginals as practice from our previous content. So this link does take a little bit of time to load. It takes approximately three minutes to load. So um, I have already loaded the web page uh, for the purposes of this video. Uh, you should click on the link before you go to the bathroom or something. Here is the web page that it will get pulled up. So you can see we start with a joint density, which we define here, and then we um, look at a visualization of this joint density, the y-axis from 0 to 1 and the x-axis from 0 to 1 jointly define the sample space for a density that looks like this kind of curved, oh, I don't know what it is, curved sheet of paper almost. That's what I think of at least. As practice of the marginal density, you could try yourself to calculate f of y here. And as practice for the conditional density, you should try to calculate for yourself um, g of y given x. Remember, it's just the arguments that, for the most part, define what this conditional density is. So this is a conditional density of y. The function is of the variable y. Given x is equal to some value. So I remind us that here in the paragraphs below. I show us how probabilities are calculated from these things. And then this is kind of the brunt of this interactive notebook. G of y given x is equal to 0.8 is governed by you, the user of this interactive notebook, such that you can change the value of x, such that the conditional density of y given x at that particular value will literally change. This orange line will literally change as you move this slider, and you should see that as a visual representation of the conditional density of y depending on the value of x. You get a different density of y dependent on the value of x that you pick. Changing that around, I hope, will be informative for your understanding of how the conditional density of y on x depends on the value of x, but the marginal density of y itself does not change. It does not depend on the value of x because you have already integrated over x to remove the dependence on it. Down here at the bottom, I remind you of the calculations you would need to, in order to calculate these marginal probabilities or this conditional probability dependent on the conditional or marginal densities. And below the uh, respective density functions themselves, I try to shade these two probabilities. Now, depending on what value of x you pick, um, the shading will change. I basically try to put whatever density is below the other in a darker gray and the one above it in a lighter gray. But if you need to see a numerical representation of these values, here they are above. And those will update as well as you go through different values of x. So please check this uh, interactive notebook out. Hopefully it will help solidify your understanding of conditional densities, but also give you some practice with uh, marginal densities, joint densities, and the point of this week, conditional densities.